What's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Next Gen Seven Twenty, and I'm back with another video. And before I start today's video, listen, this is not the same black T-shirt. They, it's a V-necks. I got, I bought a several packs. Someone asked me the other day, like, Nah, James, I should get that black T-shirt. Nah, son, it's a, nah. It's a T-shirt. It is a, just a T-shirt. You know, Haynes. I have a pack of, I bought several packs of black V-neck T-shirts. I have white also, so. You will see a bunch of white and a bunch of black, and I'm not know it's not gonna be the same goddamn shirt. So, some of y'all niggas come up with some of the dumbest shit, man. You know, I don't mind, I don't give a fuck, but like, god damn. On to today's video. Like I said, today's video, I got a lot of, like I said, Microsoft been getting dogged out a lot in the press, and today is about bullshitting out about six or seven, probably more than that, great Xbox articles on the, on, on the like on, on the internet. Like I said, I'm gonna start off with the first one here. Um. Now, you Nintendo fans and I don't like this. The Xbox 360 is the generation best-selling home con game console in the UK. Um, Microsoft console will overtake Nintendo's Wii in the next couple of days, according to GFK. Um, I guess it's that, that country version of uh, MPD, you know what I mean? Chart track. The only person, the Xbox 360 is still regularly outselling all of its rivals in terms of hardware. It figures shows that the console has sold 8.4 million consoles across the country. Now you think about like this 8.4 million, god damn it's been out for what how long the Xbox came out? 2005? Like eight years or something like that? It only sold eight point four see if you have to think about it, like it's you know the U you know, it's, it's just the UK, it's a small country like goddamn Japan, you know what I mean? But like I said, when I tell you guys in North in North America is the biggest consumer of anything, you know what I mean? Now you want to say, well the Sony, the PlayStation is that sold out so the Xbox 360 in global, which it has. But you look at it from this term, Microsoft only sells in two regions, North America and Europe. I, doubt, I, I think they barely sold a million goddamn consoles in Japan, you know, 500,000, like that. So you're going to say Microsoft doesn't have a presence in Japan whatsoever, or Asia, in the Asian market. So that's damn good to only have in two regions. North American and Europe, and they sell the way that they sell. I mean, you know, were they able to like sell the numbers of units that they have sold? Think about it. The first original Xbox sold a little more than 25 million units, and the Xbox 360, damn near, you know, damn was up damn near 80 million, you know, almost something like 75. I'm just saying, throughout the lifetime of the Xbox 360, because they still support, and they just put out another slim model, it may get up to 80 million. I'm just saying that's a big feat, you know what I mean? And not to have a handheld either, you know what I mean? But anyway, enough of that. Like I said, the Xbox 360 will be the number one top-selling platform in the UK. Also, um, the more great Xbox news. <laughs> like I said, it's about damn like nine goddamn articles right now. Um, and, uh, you guys are not gonna like this. Uh, a lot of you Sony jokes are not gonna like this. But like I said, it is what it is. Xbox One and Xbox 360 games went big at E3, uh, handling leading all platforms with nominations. So after the recent E3 show in Los Angeles, we unveiled a new generation of Xbox. Well, games for Xbox One. Since the show, we've been incredibly excited to see the reaction of the games we showcased. Fuck all that. So last night, the Game Critics Awards, the best of E3 nominees, were announced that the Xbox continued to be highlighted as the winning platform. With Xbox One and Xbox 360 leading all platform nominations. He said, uh, uh, Microsoft's exclusive title received 11 nominations, most of any game console. Uh, and in addition to Xbox One being nominated to the top console for the show, and for the Xbox game schools and Titanfall became the most nominated game in the E3. Like, like I said, the Titanfall, as far as we know, it is exclusive to the Xbox brand. Now listen, we're talking about consoles, we're not talking about PC, okay? You know, when you look at the console race, it doesn't go PC, Xbox, Wii U, or whatever it does. It's Xbox, Nintendo, and Sony. And Titanfall is a console exclusive to the Xbox One or to Microsoft platform. I'm just being real, so you know, that's like saying, uh, what's that shit Sony got? Dust what's that shooter they got that Pump Mass and Bomb was playing? Crazy. You know what I mean? Sony makes it. But anyway, that it will be on the PlayStation 4, so I look at it as a PlayStation 4 exclusive. You won't see it on the other platform, you know what I mean? So we're talking about consoles, we're not talking about PCs, you know what I mean? I'm just being real. Sometimes like I said, even like I said, you know me and Doctor Trade, we we don't really agree with anything. We wonder why PC guys got to do with, you know, console arguments and all that type of shit. But like I said, and then the PC is PC and console is console, you know what I mean? You can't compare the two because, hands down, consoles are not better than PCs. You know, just being real. You can do a lot more with a PC than you can do with a console. 
you know. Even though I do have two high-end PCs, but you know, I'm not, I'm not, a, I'm not a PC type guy. I'm more of a console type guy. You know what I mean? Uh, I like consoles. Be, which, you know, because I mean, the consoles, you know, have a lot of exclusives. You know, what I mean, not say a lot, but PC do have more exclusives. But like I said, consoles do have. Like, look at, look at the Last of Us. It's a great game. You won't find that on the PC. You know what I mean? And in the day, like I said, you know, even if you are a PC guy. You know what I mean? You, there are a lot of great games that you can find on consoles. You know what I mean? But anyway, Microsoft, they're exclusive. They received a lot of nominations. Like I said before, a lot of you guys said that Microsoft didn't have any games or they was snowmen and all this shit. Now, came E3, they showed nothing but games. You know, they're the totally opposite of what Sony did, but they still, you know, got beat up on because of that. Like I said, I, I, I don't understand. Not that I give a fuck, it ain't me to understand because I'm going, like I said, I don't like to really. I mean, I think it's a, this whole. Console war. I think this is some of the corny and shit ever. Like I said, I haven't been on YouTube long. I'm new here, I'm the new kid on the block. I've been here maybe a year. You know, it's the first time I'm ever seen like a real live like you know console war. Like I wasn't here for the launch of the Xbox 360 and the PlayStation 3, but I just think some of a lot of these arguments. Like you ask me who's the winner, us as gamers are the winner. You know what I mean? Like I said, I don't. Like I told this one guy the other day, like I ain't gotta wait for it. It's Microsoft to drop something hot. If Sony has something hot. I'm there, you know what I mean? Like, I don't, I, I bomb all, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, it's a win situation for me. Why do I choose to play on the Xbox platform? I'm going to tell you, because of Xbox Live. You know, my friends, it's a real community. Like, I've been playing with these guys since 2002, a lot of us, you know what I mean? It's not like, you know what I mean? This, that's, you know, like I said, the things, like, it, even though, like I said, I give PlayStation credit where credit is due. Their online service has got better, but I was there day one with the PlayStation 3. You know, they, you know, Microsoft, you got to give them kudos, you know what I mean? They started the whole, you know, they had the marketplace. You go in and buy, download arcade games. You couldn't do none of that shit on the PlayStation 3. You know what I mean? And not to say, like, even like I said with cross-game chat, you know, like, to me, that was that was just dope. That was like, you know what I mean? You know, that was dope. You can be playing Matt, and I can be playing NBA 2K. We can still sit down and talk to each other, you know what I mean? But to me, with Microsoft, why I became a big fan of Xbox Live, I remember the days of the Xbox One, I'm sorry, Xbox, the first Xbox, there you go. The first Xbox, and we'll be what you call, we used to call them chat rooms. We'd be like a damn near, we in that just like 50 deep, all in them, that's back in the day, man. You know what I mean? We'd be in there like 50 deep, just popping shit, hiking back and forth and shit, you know what I mean? They didn't have cross game chat back then, but we did have a chat party that was huge. And like, you know, we were doing this since like 2002, you know what I mean? That's why, we got to get off topic, that's why I have a lot of letdowns with far as the Wii U. Because, like I said, you have this brand new platform, a brand new console, I'm sorry, that can't do the basic shit that I was doing in 2002 with the original Xbox, man. You know what I mean? And the, the Nintendo fans said, well, Sony, you know, they didn't have all that stuff at first. You're right, but, you know, Sony didn't really embrace online gaming. They didn't. You know what I mean? They didn't at first. I remember the PlayStation 2 had online. You had to buy the adapter. Uh, didn't have voice chat, you know. I mean, they used to be bragging about that, you know. Sony they used to be bragging about that. Not having little kids and stuff. She had a couple commercials. It was, uh, I think it was Ratchet and Clank. I forgot. PlayStation had some game, and it was, you know, it was Twisted Metal or something that was online for the PlayStation 2. And, you know, Sony was bragging about, you know, not having to be annoyed by little kids screaming in the air and all that dumb shit, you know what I mean? But that's another story. I don't want to get off from that. But anyway, the Xbox One games got 11, you know, they got nominated a, a, a lot of times. I'm sorry, 11 times, you know, by the game critics, you know what I mean? Good shit for them. Also, um, Michael, oh, a lot of you guys were complaining about uh, a lot. Of, like I said, a lot of you guys were complaining about buying expensive headsets for the Xbox 360 and not being able to use them on the Xbox One, which I think is bull. No, it's bullshit. But, I, but you guys do have to understand that the Xbox One is going to be using Wi-Fi Direct. You know what I mean? A lot of you guys don't know what that is, and I don't feel like going and explaining. You guys can check it out for yourself. That is huge. That is like that. That is dope shit. You know what I mean? I think it's like over 256, 200, something like uh, packs a day. You're basically saying, in so many words, just one aspect, the voice chat quality on the Xbox One would be better than a landline telephone. You know what I mean? I think Sony is still using, the PlayStation is using Bluetooth 2.1. It uses like three or something, four packets. Some shit like that. But you can do a lot of shit with Wi-Fi Direct, man. And it's two different frequencies. Your Xbox One use something totally different. And the Xbox... I'm sorry, if your Xbox 360 uses a totally different, you know, frequency, you know what I mean? And the Xbox One is going to use Wi-Fi to break, for, you know, like I said, like I said, for a lot of their voice chat and stuff. So anyway, it says Microsoft is currently working on the adapter for the current wired headsets to connect to your Xbox One. 
This tip and information was revealed when asked about some to a question that was posed on Twitter. Rumors floating around, hey, I own a pair of Astro A40s, and their things are expensive. And if you want to use their, their big fancy headsets on the Xbox One, so it looks like Xbox is coming up with a device, uh, a switch or a box or something, that you be able to plug that in and, and then you control if you can use your fancy fancy headsets on the Xbox One. Dope shit. And um, this is the exact words from the Xbox One. His name is Craig Fellows. At Xbox One, will current headsets such as X, as X11, Astro 440 work properly on the new consoles? I haven't, I haven't seen info on the pack and activity. He says, um, we are working to develop a, a, a uh, adapter for the current wire headset to connect. Dope shit, so, like I said, Microsoft is listening, and that was one of the graphs that people were complaining about, so take it off your to do list. Kudos to that. Also, Microsoft is taking away the, the they should charge, you know, the small developers, like, a fee to patch and update their games on the Xbox, like, Mark, like, $40,000, something like that. Microsoft has done away with that, so you guys will have to, you know, they will let you update, you know, the games and stuff for free, you know what I mean? But anyway, I'm about to wrap this video up. Just going for like 11 minutes. And as I always say, bang, bang. Ah, damn, dog. Oh, listen. Microsoft is coming out with two uh, DirectX 11.2, uh, uh, 11 and it's only going to be for uh, Windows 8.1 and the Xbox One. Some more good news. But anyway, like I said, I got to go to a basketball game. Bang, bang.